Hi there! When you're designing a part in eMachine Shop, you might need a curved shape that meets certain constraints. This can be challenging. In this video, we will design a jig that includes a curved cam. Alright, Jimmy! As you know, we're designing a jig with a rotating plate. The plate is going to pivot on this hole. The plate will have a screw adjustment which will move left and right. The screw creates a hard stop for the plate for accurate positioning. The goal is to create a curve on the edge of the rotating plate so that the screw will be approximately perpendicular to the plate when it touches the edge. Here is how we can do this. First, select the hole in the plate. Click the start rotation mode and move the rotation center to the pivot point. Now we can see how the plate will rotate. Notice that when we move the screw to touch the plate, it's not perpendicular to the plate edge. We need to change the shape of the edge of the plate so that the screw will be approximately perpendicular at any point. To accomplish this, select the straight line tool and draw a line from the stop screw fully across the plate. Then, select the plate, the line, and the hole and click for rotation mode. Rotate the plate and repeat this process two more times. Notice that some of the lines are not perpendicular to the plate's edge. So, how can we resolve this? Notice that if the three lines crossed at one point, an arc centered at the crossing point would cross each line, and that each line would be perpendicular to the arc, which is what we want. Since the lines cross each other in fairly close proximity, we can create an arc centered near the crossing points like this. Now, let's use the circle tool to make the arc as the new edge of the plate. First, delete the straight lines. and add a vertical line about one-third of the way from the left edge of the plate. Use the eraser tool to erase the old plate edge and the extraneous lines. Now we can group together the lines of the revised plate. Finally, let's rotate slowly so we can see how it works. Notice that if the screw is extended to touch the plate, it will be nearly perpendicular at all points. This technique is a general one that can be used in many situations where you need to create a curved shape that meets multiple constraints of a variety of mechanisms. Note that if greater precision of perpendicularity is required, the same method can be used by replacing the arc with a spline. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other design videos. Bye for now.